Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we've got a product review for you. Something I have found very helpful in the fish room and that is a breeder box that we've been using lately, so stay tuned. Alright, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at this. This is the Marina Holding and Breeding Box. This is size large. It comes in small, medium, and large. And it has been a great time saver for us. One of the things when you're breeding a lot of fish is space. How do you find the space to breed fish? If you've only got a couple tanks, where are you going to put the fish if they begin to breed? I have found that this marina box, this breeder box, has saved us a lot of space and a lot of headaches. So let's take a look at it. If you're interested in more information about the breeder box, I will put an affiliate link in the description below. You can definitely check that out. Again, for the box itself, the large size is about $13 as of the making of this video. The smaller sizes run anywhere from $7 to $9. So it is a really good deal. It's certainly much cheaper than buying an entire tank setup. We recently did a video on how to keep baby fish alive and fish eggs alive. I will put a link to that in the upper right hand corner and also in the description below. It's a much more detailed look at what we do when we're breeding fish to keep the fish alive. But this breeder box has really helped us out in making sure that our fry stay alive. We All right, so we've been using this thing for a while, so it's really not an assembly video, but I can show you the parts and pieces and how they kind of go together. So this is the breeder box here. Again, this is size large. We've got the lid here. Sorry, it's dirty. Like I said, it's been used. And now we've got the compartment itself. Now what's pretty cool about this compartment is it actually has two plastic pieces that you can slide in and actually get three much smaller compartments for this thing. I use it as one big piece. We're mostly putting cichlids in here. So it just works out that this larger piece is what I need. Uh, there is a little piece right here and this little piece slides in over here. And that's what's gonna keep fish from going out into the rest of the tank. For some people they've had problems because fry can be so small that they come through here. Uh, what I've done is I can put a little sponge here from maybe like a piece of filter sponge to kind of keep the water flowing but keep the fry in if that's an issue for you. Over here what we've got is we have the intake and so we've got these long tubes here and then we've got the tube that comes with the breeder box kind of hooks in here and it goes to this air regulator and then this part here would go to an air pump. So you'd have another longer hose, whatever air pump you want to use that would go here. For us, we've got a central system, so we just run our air system right into this thing. I will show you what this looks like on a tank. It's pretty cool. All right, so all you have to do really is go ahead and stick this thing on the edge of the tank like so. So we put this thing in here like this. And the nice thing is there are two leveling dials here and here, and you can pull those out and you can turn them to adjust them to the thickness of the glass. And when you do that, you should be in good shape. Right now, this one is probably tilted a little bit too far towards the tank. We could pull these out, turn them, put them back in, and they would be fine. The other thing that we would have to do then is go ahead and fill this breeder box, probably with tank water, and go ahead and get the air hooked up, and that's really all there is to it. Now, one of the things that you can see, I just went ahead and turned this on. I didn't fill it all the way because I really wanted us to see what's happening is as the air is turned on. So I've got our air line here that is hooked up. I've turned on the air valve. And what's happening is because the air is rushing through this tank and it's bringing it up, and it's actually bringing water into the breeder box. And this will eventually get to the point where it reaches this outflow here and it will cycle the water through, which is really cool. Now at this point the water is going through the return, it is flowing back into the tank and so what's happening in this breeder box is we are getting water from the tank itself circulating through the box. So this breeder box is awesome. We get the question a lot, how do we keep our fish babies alive? Oh my goodness we've got guppies swimming around the top of the tank and we're worried that the babies are going to be eaten. This is a great thing to have. Again, they come in small, medium, and large. To have that on the side of your tank and as your guppies or as your platies start giving babies, it's really easy to net those from the top of the tank and put them in this breeder box. And now they've got a separate area that they can grow out in and we're not worried about the parents preying on the fry. Okay, so what makes that marina holding and breeder box so cool? I think the first thing is the fact that it hangs on the outside of the tank so it's not taking up space inside the tank. I have used the inside the tank breeder boxes before, the ones that are made out of mesh, and I found a couple things. One, if they've got suction cups, usually those suction cups don't hold very well, and your breeder box winds up floating all over the inside of the tank, at least for the brand that we use, that's what happened. And two, then you have fish jumping out of those breeder box containers, those nets, and into the tank itself. The other thing I really like about the Marina brand breeder boxes that we're using is the space. It's a decent amount of space and what's nice is you've got water that's flowing from the tank itself 
through the breeder box and then returning back to the tank. And so the tank itself, the tank's filtration, becomes the filtration for the breeder box. There's not an extra setup with an extra tank and lights and all the other things that come with it. You can just use this breeder box. It's also cool because you can move that breeder box from one tank to another as you see fit. One of the only downsides that I've seen so far is I could imagine a situation where you've got fry that are so tiny, they may still be able to get through the outflow even with that piece of plastic in place. And again, the really easy solution to that is if you've got a little piece of filter sponge, you put that in there and that will definitely prevent that from happening. So if you are someone who's just getting into breeding fish or you may have fish that breed by accident at some point, this is a great thing to have on hand. It's super easy to use, it's cheap. You can move it around from one tank to another. Highly recommend it. If you like this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.